Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Twitch and the DMCA. Uh, the D uh, DMCA has hit pr Twitch pretty hard uh, yesterday, as now, uh, basically, Twitch streamers are now being kind of forced to delete all of their previous like videos and VODs because of of this uh, because of what happened with the DMCA. So, for those of you who don't know, Twitch has been under fire for like. Um, just copyright laws with music because uh, people so many people on twitch now have been using copyrighted songs in their streams like and I'm sure a lot of you who do watch twitch, twitch streams have probably noticed you know maybe they're playing some like some Drake or some uh, like juice world or something like that in the background and it's something that you know if you guys are a little bit uh, aware of like copyright laws and stuff it, it's stuff that really shouldn't be happening but twitch just doesn't really ha or hasn't until now really done anything about that and neither is like the dmca you know countless streamers ha will, would use so many copyright songs just just regular songs like that you hear on the radio or like you listen to on spotify or whatever but now the uh dmca law is hitting them really hard because now twitch is basically Twitch sent out a mass email to like content creators that they need to start deleting their previous clips and videos because it could contain copyrighted like music. Not only that, but Twitch is actually deleting some clips and, and VODs themselves because of these rules. And it's making a lot of uh, streamers just incredibly like infuriated. Now apparently Twitch has also released some like music tools so they can help so streamers can uh you get music into their into their streams if they want. Uh probably it's going to include a bunch of like royalty free tracks or something like that. I haven't noticed any uh music tool. I, I you know be, I stream myself sometimes, but I haven't really uh noticed anything. twitchtv slash pi 23 by the way. But regardless of these like tools being added, so many streamers are just incredibly mad because now it's all their stuff is just being deleted. But what makes it worse is that they don't even specify like why or like just the reasoning. They don't give a reason for why they're deleting it. Unfortunately, the safest thing to do for Twitch streamers is to just delete all your previous VODs and clips which is which sucks because again it's all your that's your content you're basically just deleting all your content after you're done live streaming which really sucks now obviously whether we want to or not Twitch streamers are gonna have to tr like they're gonna have to do something with their VODs and their clips because if they're if they do have copyrighted content in them then they're gonna be in trouble and they're gonna get they're gonna get they're breaking the law basically because you know the DMCA is a law obviously to those who don't have uh like cl like just copyrighted music don't really play music in their stream you know they're they're gonna be fine but for those who like are constantly playing like very soft like music in the background you know they're just they're just jamming you know listening to some juice world or whatever they're listening to some artist or whatever now they're gonna have to go through all their vods, their count, probably their countless hours, of vi of clips and vods, and see what has copyright stuff and what do I need to delete so I don't get in trouble. Now, of course, like every problem, we have to look at Twitter and social media, and rightfully so, a lot of these content creators are incredibly and just mad, and they're just really annoyed that they have to do all this. But there's one. Th Twitch streamer that I, I want to talk about because he says some interesting stuff and I, let's just look at it. So this streamer named Aiden Ross gave his opinion on uh, everything that's going on with Twitch and the DMCA. Uh, we have his tweet right here so let's go ahead and read it. Uh, My genuine opinion and take on the DMCA policy taking place on Twitch. DMCA, you are a bunch of money greedy, disgusting, miserable people. It's ridiculous. We are promoting your music, which means more money in your pockets. Hashtag DMCA, hashtag Twitch. Now, first off, this guy is clearly ignorant on a lot of what's uh, uh, just, you know, on what's going on. The DMCA, they aren't people. The DMCA isn't like, uh, it's not like a group of people, you know, who have just decided let's let's purge Twitch streamers now. No, the DMCA is a law. It is a federal law that if you break, you will get into serious trouble. It's not It's not like a group of people. It's not like fucking PETA or some like, you know, like it's, it's not like a group of people. 
it's it's a it's a law. And then he also says we are promoting your music. Uh like when you pl I I you're not promoting shit, dude. Like let's be honest here. You pr you playing like I I'm sure you probably played like fucking Drake or I I don't know. I I I don't really know any like big uh like like Travis Scott or something. I'm not really uh I'm not in the know to like big uh like uh singers these days cuz I hate today's music. But I but like you're not promoting anything. You know, this one little one little kid, you know, you play fucking Travis Scott and he's like, "Well, what's this f f fresh jam I'm listening to? Maybe I should go take a look." But you're not promoting their songs. And like again, I'm sure the people that that's I'm sure the people's music that you're using is already pretty well known. He also clipped a video, uh, and so let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Yo, listen up, bro. I'm driving right now. I'm gonna, I want to talk about something, bro. So it's Switch, bro. <clears throat> Not Switch, but DMCA. You guys are a bunch of money greeting really weird people, bro. It's weird to me because we're putting your money in your pockets at the end of the day. So this clip is a minute and like 10 seconds long, and... The first twenty seconds, he he just goes on about what he said in the tweet. He says that like they're they're whole, like they're so weird people and that they shouldn't be doing this because we're pro because you know us streamers are promoting your music. Uh, once again, DMCA not a group of people. It is a law. And also, you're not promoting shit. You, like again, you playing fucking Travis Scott songs or whatever isn't really giving him more money. I'm sure a lot of these people who have watched your streams know of Travis Scott and know of his song, or like, this is an example, obviously, but like they know like the song that you're playing. You're making a big mistake and you're actually jeopardizing a lot of people's careers because you gotta realize people just use music, song requests, it's just a part of the stream. It's gonna make quality lower and it's gonna actually hurt Twitch's business as well. And that's just how it works. So it's ridiculous to me that I wake up to this email saying that I gotta delete all my VOD, all my clips, there's memories in there. I have a memory of me talking to LeBron James in there. I have a memory of me, you know, when I used to average 200 views in there. He does one, he, he does make one intelligent comment is that it could jeopardize people's careers because, you know, now, now all these streamers, again, they have to go through their VODs and they have to go through their clips and make sure there isn't any copyrighted music or anything or they'll get in trouble. And, and in reality, this could be very serious. Uh, this could be something that streamers might have to fear if you're caught bre like breaking this law you're gonna probably have to pay a, a incredibly expensive fine and maybe twitch themselves might take action of banning your 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 like your account or like taking you away from the partner program or affiliation thing or, or whatever so aiden then goes to talking about like how oh these are like you're deleting all these memories I have, and he talks about like some things that you know he's deleting, and then he's just like, and then he just goes on saying how it's stupid. And for of you Twitch streamers who are afraid of that, like you know losing everything, you know losing everything, uh, and wanted to keep the memory of all this or whatever, you could just download the, the VOD or the clip. So if you really do care, just download it so you never lose it. But it's clear that this guy doesn't have the full like knowledge of what he's talking about but yeah this is still a problem that streamers got to face and uh i do wish them the best of luck i hope nothing goes wrong uh because they they are gonna have to start taking down some of their vods and clips now so that's gonna be it for this video uh it, i mean it, it's hard to say like i mean you have to do it and i know like so many people probably don't want to because again this is like their fucking career. This is everything they've done, you know? Like for big streamers, you know? This is everything that they've done. You're just deleting their fucking work. And it's unfortunate to see that. And I do I, I do feel really bad for that. For all those people who have to just take everything down now. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, please. Goodbye.